Welcome to the overview slash instructional video for finally version one of the uh, Art of War Legion's Formation Planner. To begin with, I am not in any way affiliated with the developers of Art of War Legions. It's just a game I really enjoy playing and I find trying out new, new formations as well as trying to share formations and ideas amongst each other is kind of cumbersome on, on my mobile device. So I decided to make a, an application that I can use on my computer to, to facilitate that. And then once I find something I like, then go ahead on my mobile device and, and create that formation. And that saves me from having to switch, you know, to, to go back and forth between screens on my mobile device when I can just have it up here on my monitor. Um, so basically if you, now, if you've already used the earlier versions of this, or if you've seen the previous overview or instructional video, uh, this is worth watching because uh, uh, there's a significant change primarily with the share function, which is very simple, but uh, I, I want to go over everything so that you only have to watch one video. To begin with, so the idea behind the tool is that you take troops from your barracks, just like you would in game, and we're going to drop them onto the formation. They're going to start out at level one. So let's pull over our archers and the archers are level one. And the functionality is if you need to increase the level of the troops, then you would hold down the control key and click on them to increase the level. If you need to decrease the level, you would hold down the alt key and click on them. That brings them down. And if you need to re remove or replace a troop entirely, you hold down shift, click and delete. You cannot drag and drop troops over each other. So if that, if that you meant to have a, um, a hell jailer instead of, uh, um, this necro, you can't just drop them over like this. You have to actually hold down shift, click to delete it and then replace it. Uh, and that, that, um, that's actually a, a feature so that you don't uh, accidentally duplicate uh, some troops. And I'll show you that in a second. Now, um, when you have a troop, so you don't have to level, let's say you have, uh, uh, two level eight witches. So you don't have to uh, drag over another witch, hold down control and click, 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 click. You don't have to go all click crazy throughout the whole formation. If you have duplicative troops, you could just drag the one that you've leveled over and it will copy that exact same troop in the exact same level. And then even if this one's just off by one or two, you could just lower it by, you know, whatever you want to do. Once you've got that troop over, you can promote it or demote it. Um, you know, increase or decrease its level at your whim. And also I mentioned holding down the control key to increase the level on, if you're on a Mac, that control key is, um, I've programmed it to be the command key. So uh, keep that in mind. Now, uh, heroes are very similar with the exception of you don't have to drag them. So you just click on uh, the hero that you want. It will place the hero also at level one at the moment. And um, if you want another one, you don't have to shift delete. You could just click on it and it will replace it. And um, of course you then, you know, let's level it up and uh, decrease its level or shift and delete it. Um, the reason that you may want to completely delete the hero, um, it may seem counterintuitive, but if you're sharing a formation to someone else, you may only be concerned with the troop layout itself, unless you're basing that troop layout or that formation on you know to pair with a hero so i've left that in just in case you're going back and forth with someone who's helping you build out or you're helping someone else build out a formation and you're not really caring about the hero and you don't want the hero to to um, um be a factor in what the person's considering so anyway you have that out i'm gonna throw a hero up here and you can put let's put some troops on the field here just I'm just going to put some troops somewhere. I'm not really going to think about, well, I say I'm not going to think about it, but I'm obviously putting, putting my undead soldiers in the front. Um, uh, okay. So if you were to fill this formation up with whatever troops that you want, and now it's time to share that formation. And the way you would share that formation is just click on share and it will automatically save it to your clipboard. And then from there, what you can do is paste into whatever you're using to communicate with someone, whether it's Discord, WhatsApp, Google Hangouts, whatever have you, um, 
that you can paste it to them. They can click on the link and the link will take them right to it. Or you can paste the link yourself if you want to try it and uh, you will see that they get that. Then the person can say, oh, maybe they don't think that you need the stone golem here. They think you should probably put um, another group of undead soldiers there, maybe. And then they want to send that back to you. They can hit share and uh, they'll send it back to you and you will get that edited formation that's different from what you sent them, right? So um, that's that's how you can eventually go back and forth. And uh, these the links will will continue. So you can use these um, uh, later on in the future if you just want to store uh, a build, save it in a text file somewhere, or what have you. Now um, the as I as I mentioned before, I'm not affiliated with the developers of Art of War Legions. So there are a, a couple of, of things to consider. One of them is the score up here. Now the score up here does not always is not always exactly the same power score that you will see in the game. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. And I've noticed that in the game, the score of my formation doesn't always look the same in the game. Um, regardless, you know, with the same hero, the same identical troops and everything. And I don't know if that's because, you know, different versions of the game, you know, when the game got upgraded or, or what, or updated, I'm, I'm not really sure. And I'm, I'm, or I'm not sure whether or not they have some special calculations they do based off of, you know, troop location or something. I don't know, but there, there may be some, some backend things that they are considering that I'm not aware of. I'm calculating the base value and level of the troops to come up with the score and it comes very 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 close however um, usually comes very close um, however this is just more of a general guide when we all know that the, your power score doesn't necessarily dictate your whether or not you're going to win or lose it has a lot to do with your layout of your troops what troops you have in here what troops complement each other what hero complements them what which ones of them complement a hero etc etc and whoever you're working with to build out that formation will be well versed in that so um and and secondly uh, i want to mention that the mobile support i have down here under upcoming features mobile support because i am interested in programming that from a you know just a personal edification stuff i haven't done a lot of uh, of i've done some uh web app programming for mobile but not something not something like this. So uh, now that I have the backend functionality done, redoing or doing a new UI that has a, uh, a new user interface that allows that touch um, act, uh, actions, uh, that that's interesting. So I, I don't I don't know how I want to do it yet. So uh, so that's kind of on the back burner. Maybe that's a version 2.0 or something like that. More important to me right now would be working on the hero. Um, trial formations and any other formation that does not have the standard 49 grid right so once we have you know when we have something that's not a seven by seven um, uh, grid formation I want to create um, another formation field here for you to be able to build out for that as well and uh, uh, and some other little back-end features that I'd like to to work on and that, that have a higher priority than the mobile does. So as I as I mentioned before, this was intended for me to have something to use on my computer, not on my mobile device. So I could just have it up on the monitor while I'm looking at it and looking at the mobile device setting up the formation. So um, um, that's why it's it's not a priority. So if you're looking for something that only works on your mobile or definitely works on your mobile, this isn't the tool for you right now. Um, I would look elsewhere. Um, and if you want to know some great advice on um, on your formations and on the different troops and what they do in different situations, um, I would look for Phasecast on um, on YouTube has some great videos where he breaks down a lot of the details. The devs do provide him with a test account to allow him to try out some things and show you. Uh, so it's great to then take that information and then try to apply it here within the, um, the formation planner and uh, send it around. Anyway, um, I hope you um, enjoy using this tool. If you have any comments, questions, issues, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below on the YouTube video. Uh, you can hit me up on the Discord channel. I'm often in the official Art of War uh, Legions 
Discord uh, channel. There's a very good community if you if you do want some folks to help you out. That's a great place to find um, uh, this very helpful community behind building formations and and doing uh, really good in, in all the different uh, aspects of the game. Um, and that's a great place to go. You can find me there or you know Twitter um, and uh, here on uh, here on YouTube. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, it really helps out. And if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say and I'll catch you on the next video.